Welcome to ScienceScope here at Prodotronica. Delighted to be joined by Adrian Radu. It's great to see you again, Adrian. Always a pleasure. Okay. So we're standing in front of the IMS 200. Uh, last time I looked at this, it looked more like a prototype. It was still in the development phases, but it's looking very polished now. So tell me some of the things that you've, you've done to it since we last spoke. So we integrated more and more features that uh, we had the requirements from the clients because we are really good listeners. You know, we are like the elephants in the room, mm -hmm. big ears, listen to the client what they're saying, and then very small mouth, we talk when we need to. So with all of the requirements that were coming from the clients and uh, all of the features that they were requesting ended up into really the most let's say, automatic system on incoming that we have today on the market. Yes. So we have features like automatic loading, mm -hmm. and you can see here it is uh, a modular system, yes? yes? So you can choose loader, then you have the IMS 200 that is doing the incoming in automatic mode, mm -hmm. and then the unloader, or you can go with um, three ways conveyor, so they can see and send this uh, reel directly into the mega stores. I see. So there are a lot of potentials and customizations that you can do with it. So lots of different configurations. Now, this central section here, I believe you've now got two printers in that. Can you explain why you need to have two different label printers? So this is from visual management. Mm -hmm. When we're speaking about uh, incoming, it's really important to do it in an automatic way. So you remove any human error mistake on uh, data entry and also on relabeling. But also after that, after you're doing the incoming, how are you processing the reels, you know, the good reels or the ones that are quarantined or the ones that are rejected for a specific reason by the SAP. So that's why we have two printers, one with good labels and one with red labels for visual management. Okay, and I notice you've added a, like a, a reject bin here. It's almost like a chute that comes out the, 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 the bottom of the machine. Uh, for these are for the the red label. Um, exactly, uh, exactly. Uh, reels. So this system obviously integrates seamlessly with the AXC 800 component counter, uh, and also with the storage racks. And you've made a couple of uh, improvements to the storage rack system uh, using a, a sort of PDA or a, a mobile uh, counter. Yeah, basically all of our systems are interconnected, or they can be as a standalone. Mm. And also we are open for other communications. And when we're speaking about uh, the smart racks, we have uh, the smart racks for reels, and uh, that is a really nice system where we also have the PDA function. So the PDA allows multiple operators to work in the same time on the same smart rack, mm -hmm. and this gives you a lot of flexibility. But on the other hand, what is a new product that we developed, and I would like to show you later, is the smart rack for stencils. Okay. And this is something that is to change how we do the management of the stencils and how we can get the overview. Yeah, I mean, you seem to have a whole stencil management suite there because not only is it managing stencils, you're, you're measuring the stencil life uh, and also the stencil, you've got it connected to a stencil wash system. So explain to us a little bit about how it is doing that and how is it monitoring the the number of, of uh, times the stencil has been used. Uh, in the so system. there are two ways uh, and uh, we are very flexible, depends on how is the client and uh, we can either monitor the stencil lifetime based on, uh, we can always monitor the lifetime of the stencils based on the work orders because you know how many uh, passes we'll have based on uh, the quantity mm -hmm. or we can interact with different printers and on those printers we get the feedback of the uh, cycles that they did on the rack. So it depends on what the client has as uh, hardware or software. Right. And when we speak about cleaning less, it's really important that when you put the rack or the stencil back on the rack, it, to have it clean. So then that's why we have integrated with DCT and other players on the market. I see, I see. And then to, to measure the, the life of that stencil, you then band them, I believe, into you know whether it's been used 50 or 60 percent of its, of its designed life cycle? So you have like three different levels. Yes. First level, nothing happens, mm -hmm. and uh, that means you have uh, no indicator until it is 80 percent used. Mm -hmm. Between 80 percent and 99 percent use, you have a yellow that will indicate that you're almost there, mm -hmm. so you need to plan for buying a new one or replacing it. 
and 99% or above of usage of the lifetime, it will be red, complete red, and only the manager will be have will have access to unlock it for usage. Right, right. It's a great, it's a great system. It's the first integrated stencil management system that, uh, that I've seen, to be honest. Um, you've got one other thing on the booth, Adrian, uh, I just want to mention very briefly, and that's uh, it's basically a, a, a visual mic microscope system. There's quite a few around the show that are doing 4K, etc., but yours is doing, is, has got metrology built in. You can actually do measurement. It's, it's a beautiful uh, image. Uh, can you talk to us about that? I, so, you know that we are doing microscopes and uh, cameras for mm -hmm. almost 30 years, from yeah. the yeah. beginning of the company, yes, in 94. Mm -hmm. And uh, this year, this Productronica, I feel that uh, we are ready uh, to show it as a European uh, science scope team, mm -hmm. to show it to the European market and to support it as it should be. Mm -hmm. And with the new 4K camera that we released, it is the perfect timing. Mm -hmm. It has uh, built-in features like uh, taking pictures, taking videos, or doing metrology, measuring point to point or parallel axis. Mm -hmm. And even you can have automatic focus, automatic zoom, everything in one camera, and there is no additional PC needed. So yeah. only cam our camera and the monitor. Yeah, absolutely wonderful. Well, you're, con you're constantly innovating. Every time I come to interview <laughs> you, there's something completely new, which is, which is, which is good for us. But, uh, I want to thank you for bringing us up today, Adrian, and uh, I wish you a very successful show.